So start up OBS Studio. If you don't have OBS Studio, downloading it, the link is down below. And I can really recommend the program for you guys to want to start streaming or recording for YouTube and stuff like that. So really good program. So locate settings. Click on settings. A window going pop up. You want to locate video. Click on that. Right now I'm recording, so I cannot change this. So you guys know that's why it looks like this. The base canvas is going to be 1920 by 1080. It's usually your monitor size. In my case, I have a 1080 screen. If you have a bigger one, put that in there. The output, we want 1920 by 1080 also. That is so YouTube or Twitch knows that we want to stream in 1080. Okay. Because we're going to go for the best quality here is the Langsos, 36 samples. If you have a bit lower PC, maybe you want to put this down a bit, but yes, you need to test it out. But in this video, we're going to, of course, go max quality as good as possible we can so you guys know common fps values and of course 60 because it's going to be the best if you guys who do 30 we're going to go back to you guys a bit later when you're done with that click apply the next one is locate audio click on audio here it's just one thing we want to change is the simple rate uh, you have two choices here. It's 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. Uh, I've experimented with this and I don't really hear any difference. So I'm going to say to you, test yourself. Uh, I've streamed on YouTube with 44.1 kilohertz because apparently they recommend that. Uh, but on YouTube, I've streamed with 48. And I don't really see any difference or see a difference. I don't hear any difference. So experiment a bit with this and hopefully you find out the best one. When you're done with that, you want to click apply. Locate output, click on that. We want to go to, wait, before we do that, the output mode, if you have this to simple, you want to change this to advanced. Then this is going to pop up, okay? We want to go to streaming. The encode, the best encoder depends, of course, uh, if you have a NVIDIA card, you want the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new. This is most 100% the best encoder for uh, your streams. 100%. We want to stream with our graphics card, our GPU, instead of our CPU. That is the CPU. I don't remember, X dot something. If you have an AMD card, I'm not an expert on AMD. I'm sorry. Uh, but if you have, if someone knows what you're going to put in there instead, let me know down in the comment area so we can help each other here. So appreciate that, guys. Thank you. The next one is 1920 by 1080. Uh, rate control is going to be CBR. It's constant bit rate for this one. Now we're going to go to the place where the 30 FPS versus 60 FPS, and we're going to start with Twitch. I have actually a note here. For Twitch 30 FPS, you want uh, 4.5 thousand kilobytes per second. And of course, this is for 30 FPS. And probably, I don't know, I never heard so many actually stream with 30 before, but maybe some of you guys do. So I want to take that in here. But probably you guys are gonna go 60 FPS, and that's actually for Twitch, it's 6,000 kilobytes per second. And this, it's you need to check your internet connection and how fast it is. So you actually 100% know that you have capacity to actually stream in these bit rates. So double check that before or check it out. Maybe you already know why you're saying it. You probably need mo at least a double. I think that it's like for 60 FPS is 6,000 kilobytes. And so you need at least 12 megabytes of internet to actually do this well. So just, you know. The next one is keyframe intervals. It's going to be two. Reset is max quality. Here is, of course, if you don't have the best PC, maybe want to 
drag this down to quality. Profile, high. Lock ahead, not checked. The physical visual tuning, you want to check that in. Uh, GPU is zero. Uh, this is mainly for if you have two GPUs. Uh, and then max B frames is two. Now we're going to go to you guys to do actually stream on YouTube, like, like I do. On YouTube, 30 FPS, you want between 3000 kilobytes per second to 6000 kilobytes per second. And of course, you need to double also the internet speed. So you actually need 12 megabytes per second internet speed. They say that anyway. Uh, you guys should do 60 FPS. I do 60 FPS if we're gonna stream something, but I have the internet and the power for it. The 60 FPS is between 4,500 kilobytes per second to 9,000 kilobytes per second. And then, you, of course, you need at least 18 megabytes per second internet speed. Um, so oh, you just you know probably you guys have more than that it's still i think it's a lot of people have more than that but you never know you never know when you guys are done with that apply and then go to audio this is the last thing so for twitch i've streamed with 320 uh with no no problem but of course, I can say because it's for Twitch and YouTube, go between 128 to 320. Test your way forward here. See if you can hear any difference. If we do some test streams, I know YouTube recommend 128. Example, Twitch, I don't really know, uh, but it should be some same there. So test your way out there. There you have. 1080p OBS Studio Max quality, as good as you can get, actually. So I don't know more than this uh, with OBS Studio. If you have any suggestions from anything else, let me know down in the comment so we all can share of it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like it, thumbs up, and click on that bell. A lot of you guys don't do that, so you don't miss my streams and my videos. I stream a lot nowadays so come into the stream say hi and let's talk a bit so thank you everyone matter out see you in another video and have a good day bye bye